Okay, I'm currently building a, a kind of um, hydrofoil boat. So a boat with a hydrofoil that flies through the water very fast. And to build that, um, it's basically a boat that is inherently unstable. So if it tries, it's like a bicycle or a, like a tiny scooter um, you're trying to ride, but without a driver. So um, yeah, the boat basically tilts on its side or flips on its side um, if you don't do something against it. So you need some kind of active control system. And to build and test it, I came up with this tiny uh, setup collection of code um, and firmware to test it. So basically what the boat can control is only the um, rotating axis or the rudder and the um, elevator or the pitch of the yeah the elevator of the main foil is um, controlled by a feedback loop through a mechanical linkage so um, the only axis i can control is basically speed um, so the propeller speed but for now it's only i i, I would start with towing by towing it and, and test the system like this um, so the only axis I can currently control is the jaw, jaw axis or the rudder axis. Uh, like on a bicycle or a scooter, um, if the boat tries to uh, fall to the left, I have to steer to the left to use the momentum of the boat to bring the boat in the upright position again. And to build the control system to, for this, um, which will most likely be a PID control or PI control um, on a um, tiny microcontroller, um, most likely a flight controller from a quadcopter. This is a KK board, very old, like one of the first commercially available um, flight controller boards for quadcopters. I built like 12 years ago or something. So these are very, um, yeah, I think it's 2011 or something. So very, very old hardware, but still works. And it has an up mega 328 on it and some, uh, a gyro, gyro chip, um, an accelerometer, um, and a compass, magnetic compass. This was kind of an advanced, not an advanced board, but this was uh, some kind of the luxury version. And I think I got paid like 35 euros or something back then, <laughs> so which was basically pretty, uh, very expensive for what it can do. Anyway, I wrote a new firmware for this board, so this is just um, uh, I just put the Arduino bootloader on and wrote some new firmware for it to send um, the gyro, accelerometer, and magnet magnetometer <laughs> data via serial via USB to a computer that it is connected to. The computer I'm connecting it to is a Raspberry Pi and I just connected via micro USB and I put the firmware on it and now it's connected via USB to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi is connected via Wi-Fi to my home network and I also have a camera connected to the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi camera. This is what the hardware setup looks like. To get the data from the um, from the flight controller or the modified flight controller, I built a small collection of scripts, Python code, and a Grafana dashboard. So let me show it to you. Um, everything is uh, on my GitHub, so you can download it and use it yourself. How it works is you have a MQTT server running on the Raspberry Pi. And on the MQTT server, I just publish all the data I have. So for example, I get the gyroscope data, the magnetometer data, the accelerometer data, and yeah, I can calculate the direction. I even get the voltage. I get, um, I can publish data from the Raspberry Pi, like CPU load or RAM load, um, temperature of the sensors and everything. So I can publish basically all the data I have to this MQTT server I have running on the Raspberry Pi. And this MQTT data can be um, viewed on the Grafana dashboard I built. So I will start everything up really fast. To do so, I log into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, how's it done? Uh, I think I shut it down. So let me restart the Raspberry Pi really quick. Let's try. Yes. Okay. Now I have two connections to the Raspberry Pi. So I will go into my repository. And what I can do now is I first start the MQTT server. To do so, I go to service, uh, no, 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 not the MQTT. Um, the, what I will do first is I start the Grafana dashboard. Uh, service, Grafana server start. Yes, this takes a few seconds. Um, hopefully this works. Yeah, looks good. Now I can go to the IP. It's this one. 
Now I have this uh, Grafana dashboard. This is running on the Raspberry Pi. So this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and the port 3000 for Grafana. And then I go to the dashboards. This is this dashboard. This is all the configuration for the dashboard, the dashboard is in the GitHub repository. So you can copy this JSON um, formatted Grafana. Um, so this is a dashboard. You can just copy all of this put it in the Grafana and import it as a new uh, dashboard. And what I can see here is basically all the data I have available currently. So um, currently there's no data because no stream is streaming to the MQTT server. And I will fix that really quick. So first I will start um, with Python, um, the ser serial MQTT stream. So now it's running. I got a flashing light on the, on the um, flight controller. So I go to the back uh, dashboard and I see uh, all the data coming in. So I have temperature and all the acceleration data and direction data. And if I tilt and flip and do stuff with the board, I will see uh, the data change on the, on the Grafana dashboard. Um, what I can also do is I go to um, directory again um, and start the system mqtt stream and now i get data for i should get data yeah for the cpu load and ram load so this is helpful if you have this boat running on the water and you uh, see that your cpu load goes like 100 uh, yeah, then you know something is wrong with your uh, raspberry pi so the setup looks like this you have the raspberry pi and the flight controller on the boat and you connect via wi-fi or some other kind of i'm not sure if wi-fi is enough for that for debugging but if you have a very strong wi-fi connection this should work so what i can also do is i i have to open another interface uh, okay ah, okay um <laughs> now i get it so yeah the stream was on the wrong ip address so you have to change it manually now i have the full dashboard Let's reload this really quick. Now we get the camera stream in real time. Hello, hello. And the last thing we start is the serial MQTT stream. So now we get the data via serial from the flight controller and stream it to the MQTT server and then show it on the Grafana dashboard. Yes. And that's actually it. So um, I think this is very helpful to debug some system like this um, hydrofoil bolt because then you can see all the data in real time. And this is like a very easy setup um, to tune new PID values, for example. You can add um, more windows, for example, PID values, additionally to the gyroscope data or something. And then you can see what your system is actually doing in real time, even have a camera on top so I can see what the boat is seeing. And uh, yeah, I think this could be a great addition for robotics projects or yeah, where you have dynamic systems running. And yeah, you can see a lot of this data, show it on this uh, preview and I think this could be helpful to lots of these projects where you have um, moving things and for example a PID loop or something. So I hope this is interesting to you and if you like this leave a subscription or a like or something or a comment if you have questions. Yes. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye. And I'm currently applying for the YouTube membership creator whatever means that you will see some advertisement in the next videos most likely this will finance some parts of the stuff i do so maybe if i new, need new tools or some flight controllers or raspberry Pis or something this is very helpful and if you personally really want to help these projects i posted a amazon um, wish list in my video comments so if you like to purchase some stuff of this that would be super super cool this would really help with these projects some parts are tools some parts are things i need for my projects for example i, I want to reverse en engineer one of these um, fish finder things you connect via bluetooth to your phone or something so that i can de uh, get depth data for your Arduino, which would be very, very cool. Um, I think it's cost 50 euros, so I'm currently not in the mood buying them. But if somebody wants to buy it for me, um, I would be very happy to hack this. So thank you very much. See you. Bye.